what we see is a tendon sliding underneath the fascial sleeve. It looks like saran wrap. It shares a blood supply, and without restriction, it slides easily. Then what we're seeing is the fascia pulled up from the tendon, magnified 25 times. Now we can see the little individual fibers binding together to form restriction and big tree trunks rather than each individual fiber. And it will only come apart with sustained traction. As you see in this example, this one little string comes apart from the rest. The whole system is very fluid-filled and quite well hydrated in its healthy state. But you can see how it binds together and creates restriction. In the center of the screen, you'll see fascial release. And then off to the left, another piece comes up. And in the background, a whole fascial plane starts to let go. It's like a tectonic plate. Then there's elongation of one of the fibers. This is an example of how the vascular system is buried in the fat and fascia. And when the fascia clamps in, in the dear God we're going to die response, the purpose is to inhibit and squeeze these blood vessels so that if you get cut, you don't bleed too much. It squeezes your nerves so that if you get hurt, you don't feel it right away. You can see how beautiful these little fibers are when they're individualized and how they're fluid filled. See the water? flowing up the tubule. These are fiber optics that conduct consciousness throughout your body, sharing information about proprioception. It's a beautiful thing.